Wesley, uh, you came here and you were kind of incredulous about the eval of the engine being minus two at the end of the game. How did you assess that position? How did you come up to the conclusion yeah, that repetition is the best? Well, no, I just thought things went out of control. I mean, it doesn't even make sense looking at the computer these days because they're just too strong and the evaluation uh, is inhuman, so to totally unrealistic. But uh, well, I thought the position was very complicated at that stage. I was also disappointed that I missed a very good winning chance against Diak the other day, so mm. I wasn't especially hoping for much today. But I thought I got a good position. And then you were showing me some lines earlier, like uh, with the exchange sacrifice. With rook to d5, yeah. Yeah, I saw this from afar, and I also was calculating it here. But after knight e3, I thought I'm done on exchange in a pawn. And um, I mean, you probably should add more lines here on the engine so that we know if a6 is the only win move. So a6, queen e1, knight takes, oh, I guess I didn't see queen g6. So I saw a6. And it's more of a slow burning advantage, right? It doesn't finish in the next three moves. Yeah. It's nothing super tactical, yeah? Yeah, I mean, the problem is I can't get my rook. So a6, queen a5, bishop, queen e1. Yeah, and I didn't see queen g6. Just a slow retreat and it's minus 4. Yeah, it's just knight h5 is a big problem. Rook e8 is a big problem right now. So if he goes g3, bishop c5. Ah, h5. Ah, queen g6. So. Yeah, just totally missed queen g6. But even bishop to but d7? It was, a, it was a good chance. Uh, but bishop d7 was not clear because I was calculating so many lines after h4. I guess h4 is a mistake, but it's already not so easy. Uh, like, I was first I was going to go here, but then I saw knight d5, queen g3, king d2, and king h8, h5. <laughs> okay, king h8 is a bit uh, unrealistic, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Just it's a funny move. <laughs> doesn't make sense looking at a computer when you're, when we're playing a human, and also. I'm How would you human. describe this position? Because sure, we see this evals is like minus three, minus, minus, three, four, minus four, four, but they're not easy to calculate, and you have options at every single move. Your opponent yeah. has options at every single move. No, I thought I had very How did good. You it? I thought his position was very close to collapsing. For him. For him, yeah. I thought his position. Was very, I just couldn't find a knockout blow. Like here, I spent 25 minutes thinking uh, queen f4 looks very tempting. So I thought, yeah, the, I was hoping for queen e3, and then I would give a check. Like I was calculating fun lines like this. OK, it's just completely winning, of <laughs> course. But uh, it's easier said when you have engine right in front of you. But, so the queen for knight d5. But uh, yeah, I thought I had a very good chance today. Just didn't, didn't find the knockout blow. Like, uh, I was calculating knight d4, but knight d4 is not enough for a win. Because he goes like this, and he just barely hangs on. But, but that's the thing. Even this position, you're still better, right? Yeah. Um, maybe not as easy, but you're still objectively better. Even yeah, but the, the problem is we have good choices, and you want to find the one that that um, is just crushing. Yeah. But yeah, of course, I should ex play this exchange sacrifice. I just didn't see queen g6. But let's go down to the last few yeah, uh, moments of the game. I was, I was very surprised when he played rook d1, actually. Yes. Yeah, no idea what's going on. Maybe he missed b6. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that. I'm just I think queen b7 here. was, at least according to the engine, not the precise move. Yeah, I, I think he started shaking his head because after king d1, rook d8, I cannot, he can play king e1. I guess he missed bishop e7 or bishop b3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not winning for black. But uh, queen b7 also had little time at this point. Um, were you still yeah, still easy. harboring hopes for for an advantage here, or were you ready to kind of, you know, make oh. make a draw if, if well, possible? I, well, I wasn't 100 percent sure who's playing for a win. That's mm. the problem. Also, I was getting low on time. I mean, 
of course, if I have some chance, I would push it. Yeah. But here I was calculating queen b7. Then I couldn't find how to untangle because after knight e8, he's got e5. Yeah, this is not it's easy fine. anymore. Yeah. yeah, because with my knight on e8. But I'm not sure also how strong this engine is because usually, <laughs> yeah, you have to give at least like depth 30, depth 35 to be accurate. But I didn't realize that this position is plus two. Hmm. Like I thought he's got a pawn for a queen and three pieces. I guess three pieces, but yeah. Just like push the pawns maybe, g5, but f4, it, try to to get something on the king side as wide, right? It does yeah. look a little bit dangerous. For? For you, if he manages to push you, your pieces out. Uh, yes, I still have no idea what's uh, going on. See, apparently this is plus two. <laughs> because the, bi the, the bishop on e6 defends everything. But of course, it's, now that I see the evaluation, it's very stupid for me to repeat. But uh, during the game, I wasn't 100% uh, sure if who's better or how much better I really am when h6, yeah. You mentioned at, at the beginning that you were a bit disappointed about the result against Bogdan uh, in the previous round. Uh, this is, sure, another misstep, objective misstep. How are you going to deal with uh, that psychological well, blow? Uh, well, I've been doing this for eight and a half years, <laughs> so it's just another day in the office for me. I mean. Obviously, I wanted better. I thought Ding was in good shape in this tournament, like when he started making all these bad moves in the opening, like Queen D3, Very aggressive. F3. Yeah. yeah, I mean, E4, he should just try to, I don't know, like, I guess he didn't want to make a draw so early in the game. So that's why I played E4, but only White could run into trouble here. Um, so, well, just. Take it day at a time, I still got plenty of tournaments left in the year. And just, as I say in St. Louis, just try to keep getting better uh, day by day and hope that things go your way. But I'm very pleased that my compatriot Fabiana is doing extremely well in this tournament. I think uh, the last two times in Romania, or the last three times actually, he didn't go well. But uh, very glad that he's uh, winning almost every game here. But it's a pity that I didn't convert today would have been a big treat beating the world champion but yeah, yeah. I still find very stupid that I repeated moves in this position well yeah without the engine <laughs> it is without the it engine is. it's not that easy to, to, to assess this imbalanced positions Wesley yeah actually might be interesting if you ask random GMs what they think of, of the assessment in this position I, I, I don't think anyone would give plus two for black and maybe we can throw that question to, uh, to the guys <laughs> in St. Louis Wesley, thank you very much for Yeah, thank us. you so much for having me. Guys, back to you. Thank you, uh, Christian. Thank you, Wesley. It goes to show, Nancy, mm -hmm. what a very